question on every mind, everyone's mind these days is, what do you think about the Batman? Brian, what have we been talking about for quite some time already? Right? We've been talking about the Batman and lately about Matt Reeves, the Batman, and Brave and the Bold announcement, all this other stuff. But we've been also waiting for this, Brian. And it was just, how long is it? Two minutes, two minutes and six seconds of escape while watching it. Because you were paying attention and listening to everything, especially when that voice came up, Brian. What were your thoughts when you heard his voice? I yes. think the voice sounds great. I think yes. it sounds... I agree. I think it actually sounds a little more refined than him narrating the cast. I think in the cast narration, he lets his, his own accent into mm-hmm. it just a bit if you listen mm-hmm. closely whereas mm-hmm. this it's he's a, he's inhabiting the character and he is channeling conroy yes without being a hundred percent conroy which i think is the best way to do it i think everyone who has done the batman voice for animation have tried to have been inspired by his Yes, version. So uh, he does this. This what's what's the guy's name who's voicing him? Hamish Linklater. Never heard of him. Have you heard? Have you? He's seen like a, him? he's done some TV stuff. Like he, you know, he's not like a, he's like a character. He's not like a a list star, but he's like he's been around in live action. He's done some things. So, um, but I think it fits with you know he's not the biggest name member of the cast. You probably would say like Christina Ricci or you know even Haley Joel Osment or like they'd be bigger names that are in the cast but yeah i think in some ways that's good that's not you know someone we all know what did you think of the tech brian we saw some tech we saw um i I remember working when i was a security guard at a library there was an area where people used to go to watch or to look for old newspaper clippings or newspapers and Mm -hmm. i think it was called microfiche or something like that yeah and you used to like run the knob and like, yes, yes, yes. Turn it I was to, like, like what the the... is this? Yeah. Piece. I, I still haven't looked through it, but now, but yeah. now uh, you see the Batman and you see what was being used or what he was using back then to look up, uh, do his research or whatever. And you saw a little bit of other uh, tools that he uses for, um, for his invest, his investigation. Brian, one shot that I thought was interesting and purposeful was uh, the, the two stiffs. Right, showing you that what sort of show this is this is going to be. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, tonally, uh, classic Batman. I think th- this to me, th- and we could see that in the images when they put out the promotional artwork, and you could see the way they were drawing. I thought it was um, when they drew Catwoman in particular. Yeah, you're kind of like, oh, she's drawn and costumed like you would expect someone from the 1930s and 40s, so, and then. And you see in this trailer, everything to me feels like they're trying to create classic Bob Kane Batman. Like the costume, oh, right? Oh, like, sure. the, like the the costumes are early, like look like inspired by early comics. Even Batman, like they go out of their way in this trailer to show his outline very early on to say, like, "Hey, he is." It confirms what we thought in the first image. He is not this massively blocky. Bruce Wayne that was drawn in the original animated series. No. He is leaner. His ears and the cowl are longer. Um, mm-hmm. Even as like the movement and the animation looks very similar and inspired by the 1990s show. But yeah, I love seeing like uh, some of the villains looked classic. Even the outline of the penguin that you see that one shot, he looks like classic penguin. It doesn't look mm-hmm. like modernized. You know, we're getting great modern penguin in Car- Colin Farrell, but that looked like classic penguin. I think I saw like Two Face, not Two Face, Clayface. That was is, Clayface, he, right? He's in. He's in um, makeup, like prosthetic. He's not uh, like a clay dude, like he was mm-hmm, in the nineties. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, like that's actually old school Batman. I think that they're. That's why I said everything felt like kind of old school. And then they yeah. had the you know the nineteen forties tech, like the Tommy guns and the machine gun. Like you know that's that's kind of cool. And Similar you, to yeah. the Batman in the animated series. Totally, they have that shot in the even in the um in the credits. There's a yeah. shot of those like dudes firing the the same machine guns with the round magazine, just like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't catch that, but yeah. Sure. The narration and what they were talking about in terms of who the Batman, who is this guy, right? Whatever. They were giving us sort of the same old sort of things that Batman, we know Batman to be. Who is this person, right? What sort of 
themes regard surrounding Batman. You know, getting him off the streets, his his sort of uh, 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 the vig vigilante part. Brian, I still will it matter, Brian, to you not knowing how <clears throat> Commissioner Gordon got his job? <laughs> Oh, so I thought Gordon was conspicuously absent from this, right? So it's, it, I believe... He didn't I, say nothing. We I saw believe him, it's, uh, I looked it up because I forgot the cat. I remember the character, but I forgot her name. It's Montoya. Renee mm -hmm, Montoya. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. woman who's narrating, who's a part of the police force, saying okay. we're going to take him down. We're ah. going to get Batman. Um, but yeah, I thought Gordon was conspicuously absent considering I'm assuming that relationship remains central to um, mm. to to the work. But yeah, I mean, you you hit on it again. We talk about classic Batman, a man outside, right? A man who is kind of the law is after him, sort of uncertainly, but sort of after him. And then, of course, the villains that he's got to deal with. It's edgier. I was trying to remember, like, would they have shown those two dead guys with the spider crawling on the face in the '90s? Would they have said like dope peddling drug? Would they have said that in the? I feel like nope. that's not kid kid friendly right technically by the, the way they used to define it. so that maybe those are clues to what bruce tim was talking about way back when about feeling like his hands were untied yes yes for yes. the content and the style he wanted to put in this show yeah i didn't think of, i mean the violence looked in i guess it looked a little more real i mean i haven't but i it looked of a piece of the 90s show it didn't yes. look like any bloodier necessarily exactly yeah I think perhaps, perhaps they're saving some of that for the actual show so to, for us to see. They don't want to give everything away, obviously. But uh, they were getting us familiarized with what who this character was in the Batman the Animated Series and who this character will be in this series, taking us another uh, another notch up. Mm -hmm. So I, I liked your hit on the investigation side. I liked that the trailer showed detective work. And like I thought, you know, one of my favorite parts of the Matt Reeves movie was the amount of time he he spent in crime scenes, not <laughs> in frenetic action, like allowing yeah. Pattinson to shine as a detective. Yeah, 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 right. And I, yeah. this trailer kind of shows Batman doing just that, which I think is, is great. These guys look like they're serious, right? Where does it all lead you? Back to me. Batman is that dude, yo. It's just on the, his presence, and then he gives you the line. It gives you we give we get one line, Brian. Probably, but now they'll know I'll be coming after them. <laughs> <laughs> well, then to that point, a lot of rogues. I mean, a lot of rogues. Oh yeah, this is going to be pretty contiguous and only ten episodes. There's a lot of villains that popped up in this in these two minutes. So the odds do seem very stacked against our our hero here. Um, so if he's going to run into everyone, and obviously Catwoman, we know is not true. Like they show her fighting him, but we kind of know that she's. But not we see totally the same old ch them cat and mouse, you know, yeah. him chasing her. We see the same the playful, you know. That's yeah. that's their mo. So there, we're not getting anything different other than the banter and the stuff that gonna they're gonna get into right that's yeah, that's no just that's that's what this that's gonna be no question but the other relationships are the ones that i'm interested in of course with commissioner gordon uh alfred oh. uh <laughs> that's probably my one critique of the trailer having watched it a few times <laughs> what was that <laughs> so i feel like with alfred We've pivoted in the movies and live action. We've gradually pivoted from sort of like lovable old man <laughs> to now the Andy Circus like soldier, right? The trainer, yeah. all the stuff. Well, what, but th this Alfred, <laughs> saw I went back and watched. I was like, I know it's the 1940s, but dude, mix in a salad. Like this <laughs> Alfred is pretty stout. Like when he takes the whatever it is, the gas to the face. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, He's pretty big. <laughs> I'm like really. So I feel like he, they didn't do him any favors, at least in how he's drawn. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first time I got a sort of different take of Alfred was in a. Uh, there was a new Batman series on on Fox. 
It was after Batman, the animated series. I think it was even after the Batman on Channel 11. Yeah, there were a bunch. There was one called Brave and the Bold. It animated Before film that, Brave and the Bold. There was a, yeah. Um, gosh, yeah. There was a bunch. There were a bunch that they did. Yes, yeah. yes. Alfred was, he was that minute. He was a military dude. They showed him more of Bruce's certainly handler but his trainer his the, the guy that you know what i'm saying that that, that that like he like uh doom what's um oh, josh this guy, like gurney yeah he was that sort of character that was the first time i saw alfred in that light before it was just him serving Bruce all the time you know what i'm saying and just being there for him all the time uh what else brian before we i want to briefly sort of not really talk about the the superman leaks and the photos i know we're trying to avoid that me and brian but i you know i've seen them freaking freddie was just sending it to, to to our chat and i'm like yo why are you sending this but i saw it and i have my thoughts and i'm not tripping just yet and i'm gonna tell you why but after we're done with the batman uh the cape crusader brian anything else from the trailer that uh caught your attention and has Look, I mean you <laughs> There's one obvious elephant. In the, look, first off, the trailer itself did everything I think this trailer needed to do. You know, it evoked the spirit. It gave you something new. It gave you edgy. It set the tone. It looks amazing. Uh, like I said, I think we're we're in for something special. And the bar is high, coming off the highs of X Men '97 on on the other on the other streamer. Look, the obvious thing that stands out is David Zaslav. Man, really? <laughs> you gave this away? <laughs> You good with that? I hope the cash you got back was worth it, cause I don't know, man. There's other seem like there's other things you might have been able to shop other than this. But hey, that's what you did. I'm just glad it. Ha I'm just do glad we have it anywhere. <laughs> do you think James Gunn was part of that decision? No. Do you think he knew about that decision? Oh, I'm sure he did at some point, but it probably was past above he, his it was, grade. It was he wasn't him. there. Until, yeah, I think he was. I think he was in the chair after. Because if it would have been me and they were telling me, yo, we're going to do oh. this because we, I'm be like, yo, you bugging right uh, now, I'm, yo. I'm, 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 locking like, yo the door. No. I'm locking the door from the inside and be like, we ain't leaving. With we the tape. <laughs> until, until, until it's changed. <laughs> I got the SD cards. That be, this is not going nowhere. It's staying right here. Because come on, dude. Now with all the fanfare, all the stuff... This is gonna prop I'm I'm guessing, Brian, this was a steal. I just think of all the characters, Batman's the one that you should you don't, keep by yeah. itself. And anything Batman, you should have kept He's like Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah it's Spider -Man. just like you should have anything Batman, you should have kept in-house. You know, what they did at Batgirl, that's another conversation. That's not Batman. That's I'm saying <laughs> Batman, the actual character, Bruce Wayne, Terry McGinn is Batman. Everything him should have stayed in house if I was David Zasloff and Warner Brothers, and I think they'll regret when this show comes out and it is a an event animated series. And Amazon's like, "Great, <laughs> here's season two order, here's season three order." Like, I, I think they're gonna regret that. Yeah, man, because and it gets nominated for an Emmy, and we get our showdown with X Men '97 head to head. I mean, Imagine. how awesome would it be if they go like for the next three, four years? How awesome would it be if they go head to head for 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 the Emmy? Right, Adam, DC against Marvel. The like, oh my, <laughs> that is DC versus Marvel at yeah. its best. Yes. So, uh, so yeah, let us know in the comment section below if you uh, what you guys think of the the Cape Crusader trailer. Are you guys uh, excited for it? Um. This this for me is is more excitement. I don't even think about Deadpool. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's coming up first, right? Well, I think they're really different. I really certainly do, they right? are like, like, in like, terms of excitement Brian. and and nostalgia. Like Batman yes. is nostalgia for our generation because of the animated series. Deadpool we don't really have a relationship with only until the last decade with Ryan Reynolds in cinema, right? Like so, it's yeah. it's just a different. It's just a different connection. Like I, I am excited to watch Deadpool and Wolverine, but for different reasons. My attachment to it is not yeah. the same. My attachment to this, like how much I care about this on a personal level, is different. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah. Fair, Brian. 
So I just want to address the Superman <laughs> leaks and, and his yeah. costume. Yeah. So Google, set photos, you'll see Superman, you'll see Lois, you'll see Perry White, you'll see Mr. Terrific, you'll see, see a bunch of stuff. Brian, no pun intended, but Mr. Terrific's suit looks freaking terrific. Looks accurate. Looks pretty accurate, right? Or what? Like Not pretty accurate, Brian. <laughs> accurate. <laughs> that is, and I was looking forward to it because I know I've seen that guy's work before, and and when once his name was announced, or once I knew he was gonna play Mr. Terrific, I was like, oh snap! This is this is perfect. This is perfect. But Brian. I haven't really read too much into what people are saying. I can only speculate. And I can only speculate that they're thinking somewhat similar to what I'm thinking when I look at it. But what I re but what I think about is this. I put myself in a situation, this say this is 19 what when did the Superman movie Christopher Reeve come out? Uh what's well, set in present day, right? Which one? Which one are you talking about? Superman Returns? The, 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 oh, the original. The yeah, yeah, one? Yeah. 78. Yeah, yeah. 78. 78. Yeah. Imagine we had the technology we had, we have now back then, and we saw the, we saw his, if we saw his costume on a freaking hanger, what would we think? Does it change anything about the performance? No. Exactly. The costume looks, I mean, yeah, the Reeve costume looks hokey. It looks like a homemade it's, Halloween costume. It looks costume. ridiculous. Yeah. But when you put Christopher Reeve in it, it makes it different. It's n it has never been about the costume for me. It's been about the dude playing. And I was having a conversation with Freddie about this on the way home, about Henry, Ca Henry Cavill in terms of look, is up there. It's 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 there. It's what like it's, it's wow, right? That's what that's what Henry Cavill Superman is. But in terms of the performance and the character of Superman, it wasn't wow. It was like I don't know how to feel about it. Some people liked it, some people didn't. But it, it was polarizing. Whatever. It was Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Yep. It wasn't Superman the, that we know. Yeah. Let's just make it clear. Well, so if we link what we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Cape Crusader, classic Batman. You could, they're channeling classic Batman. Yeah, I, I happen to like Man of Steel, but it's not classic Superman. There's no attempt no. to make him classic Superman. Yeah, whether David Corn Sweat is or isn't, we'll see. I we'll mean, the costume exactly. is not, but like, there's a whiff of classic Superman. Oh in this. yes, most definitely, Brian. Most definitely. And you can, I don't want to talk myself up into excitement for this film until I see a trailer, Brian. Yeah. At least that. Yeah. At least that. These set photos is, is I God, like this terrific. I like some of the things that I'm seeing. Whatever it is, that's not the movie. That's not what I'm supposed to see. I don't care. Yeah, it's like we went through this when, when we saw Ryan Reynolds and Hugh on the beach and Hugh's wearing the yellow span, you know, and you're like, it's not fair to Hugh to judge what that looks like when you see that wire work, you know, unedited shot. And then you see it in the trailer and you, you know, you, you can have to form an opinion about it. But yeah, it's the same. I will say, like, I, I, I will keep pounding this. I think Bros in the Hand is going to own Lois Lane. And when I see oh, yeah. her in the shirt and just, just like the yeah, everyday right? clothes, I'm like, that's Lois Lane, the reporter, right there. Yeah. So, until we see a trailer, Brian, and perhaps further uh, news coming from James Gunn, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You need the. You need the. The clip of Bill Paxton in Edge of Tomorrow when he's talking to Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise is like, why do you, why? he says he's from Science Hill, Kentucky. And he's like, why do they call it Science Hill? And Bill Paxton goes, never ask, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Bill Paxton, one of our great character actors. Yeah. <laughs> so. I was just watching him in Weird Signs the other day. <laughs> you know what? I was laughing about it with my wife because 
yo, I didn't know what this word meant. And it wasn't even a word. It was two words, but he made it sound like one word. In true lies, when he says, I'm navel lint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know. I thought navel it was a, a condition of something. <laughs> but it's navel lint. And yeah. I was and, I, and that had me dying. <laughs> so, but uh So yeah, Superman, I say to people, just relax. Like with these shots, yeah, relax. Yeah, man. It's, it's just good. it's just like there's a shot. If I was to critique, Clark's wig looks shaky. There's a shot of him wearing this curly hair, and, like, and I'm like, it looks, it looks like a rug. It looks like a pretty shit. But you know, like again, it's it's an unedited shot. You don't know what they're doing with it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like you yeah, don't know what yeah, this yeah. context for that yeah. scene is. So like, don't get bent out of shape about it yet. I don't care about again, like you said. I don't care because it's, it's, I gotta see what I, I gotta see James Gunn's vision before I say anything because before we saw Zack Snyder's vision I was hyped until I saw what I saw and I wasn't really too I liked some of the aspects of it but there were certain things of the storyline that I just didn't click for me yeah I will say so, like I think Zack's mm -hmm. the trailers for that were consistent with the film like mm -hmm. the tone they set in the trailers the like the action heavy especially as they went on that was mm -hmm. the movie i mean i don't think yeah. the trailer misled you about what he was going to do it just no, the it very did, first trailer i think is really good the first yes teaser. yes 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 yeah. the oh, last hype, trailer which has the actual music and shows a lot of fighting in it that really is what the movie is it's not it's not a false average it's not a false it, flag it, yeah. but my expectation of who superman was wasn't met no, I agree. That's Actually, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like they, I don't think they tried to trick you that it was. It was yeah, like, this is yeah. what we're doing. So yeah, I think yeah. similarly, I think Gunn's tone, and we just talked about with Cape Crusader and things like that. I think the tone will right be there. I think it'll be whatever Tony sets in those first two minutes of footage that you get. That's it. I don't think yeah. he's trying to hide it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah so. so yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Cape Crusader trailer. Uh, it's coming on August 1st. Brian, we got to talk. Um, Superman, this stuff with the, the, it is what it is. We won't be able, we won't see what it is until the movie comes out, which that's what I'm excited for. None of this other stuff. So yeah, let us know in the conversation below and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report.